Hey guys, Kitty Cat Lapur here today, and today we are doing. <laughs> hey guys, Kitty Cat Lapur here today, and today we are doing all spawn locations here in Genoa. Gen Gen <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even. This place. Okay, so I died. I don't know how many times I've tried to do my intro because <laughs> it's so. And this is the first one. This is easy. This is recommended, you guys. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is going to be a bit of a weird one because um, you only have the first five locations to get into, um, like, or the five maps. And then you have to use Hel Helena or HLNA to um, get... I just want to survive for one second. <laughs> You have to use HLNA to get to each location differently and teleport there. So I thought we'd do things a little bit different and actually check out the different teleportation areas. Um, just because you want to kind of know where you want to go. Even if you spawn and you see something quick, maybe you can teleport quick. So that's what I've been trying to say for at least a good 10 minutes. <laughs> so um, the first area is the bog and um they say it's easy why are you making noises sir um they say it's easy but it's really not the bog is terrible it's hard it's full of creatures that want to kill you think of it like a swamp like all by itself so yeah this is really really good times because oh <sighs> My goodness gracious. <laughs> even, what is going on? <laughs> Can he get me up here? Ah! No. <laughs> so, I really just want to get somewhere safe so I can look at HLNA to be able to. <laughs> Two locations. I can't. I just can't with this now. So we're gonna go to the bog. Oh no, 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 no. We're gonna go to the bog north to start off with. We're gonna go and check that out. So just to let you know, there are like quote unquote 19 different spawn locations. We're gonna teleport there. Don't worry, I won't put you through all the teleportation scenes, but this seems to be like the safest part for me to actually be able to talk. Today we're going to do the water bog and snow, and then I'm going to have a separate episode with the lava and um, the, the space place. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try to get through them very quickly, which I don't think I'll have a problem doing that. Because like, look at this. This is so crazy. So the Genesis map itself came out in 2020. Oh. Oh my god, there's bugs everywhere. I can't even... I, there's bugs, there's raptors. The bog is not my favorite place to be at all. Like, at all. Because, like, look. Oh, look at... I love the colors on this, though. Like, look at all the bugs, please. Like, I heard they took care of the swarms, but apparently they're not taking care of... Why am I not swimming? Oh, because I'm out of stam. Great. We're just going to go and have a walk around. I'm almost dead already from a bug. Let's see, oh, raptors. Careful. See if we can fly past him. So this is the north area in the bog. You notice? Hear him. Oh, he's coming. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so we are now in the bog northeast. Now this looks a little bit decent, like, the goal is to be able to find somewhere to build. And I don't think anywhere is safe to build, honestly. Don't re recommend that bog. Um, so some things about this. This map, or this, yeah, I'll say this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the actual? Like, I don't even understand. Why would they do this to me? Like, Why? I don't understand. Here, go attack, attack this guy. I forget his name. I can't even think right now. How about in the bog? I'm not even going to try to talk. Because clearly... 
what the okay so this is bog southeast the last one was bog east just letting you guys know i'm not sure if i even had a chance to mention that last time so as you can see we haven't even survived like i've only been recording for 12 minutes and half of that was trying to get me to or half of that was trying to get my what am i trying to say my intro done so just saying it if you're just starting out on genesis probably i'm like completely out of stam i'm gonna get killed by bugs guys i'm gonna get killed by bugs what the fog south don't do it fog southwest can i have a breather please just for like 2.2 seconds that's all i ask just a little bit of a breather i don't even know what we should talk about because clearly the instant i talk the instant i start talking about something i just get killed so like i'll just say genesis was released on february 25th 2020 now this is a part one of a two-part uh seasons pass i guess we'll say for the genesis series we are expected to get genesis 2 on may 26 2021 so we're super excited for that at least i am um some things to note about this whole map quote unquote because there are five different maps because they're kind of all split up very beautiful um is that you cannot fly you're not supposed to have flyers now they have been able to enable flyers for some like you can have that option but when you first start out there isn't that option. now this is by far the safest place i've been so far where are we southwest um i would just suggest building here <laughs> so far so good yeah there's berries in the water but you know what there's just minding their own business um and just chilling out so i would 100 percent say like the first safe spot you find in the bog if you decide that you want to be crazy and stay here um just uh go for that because you know um sometimes these trees are really cool to build in so i want to go check that out really quick if i don't die before then because you know that seems to be the ongoing theme today is you don't even get a chance to have a full sentence before dying so we're doing pretty good so far oh my goodness can we even get up here i don't even think so lots of metal over here though you can get a lot of great resources um i actually have built in the bog before absolutely loved it but i didn't did i start i don't remember if i started in the bog or if i got fed up and went somewhere else and then came over here i think it was like probably the last places i built on this map um it doesn't look like we can get up here but sometimes those trees are really cool to build in because like it's like um there's like like a ground and like all that kind of stuff so you can build in it so i'm gonna say where are we on the map southwest you were right about here so smack dab in the middle of 60 and 80 ish um that looks this looks like a good place so what i'm going to do is bring you guys back to the next spawn location i'm glad that we were able to have this talk and you know chill out for a couple seconds um so i'll bring you guys right back and yeah we'll see you in a bit we are now in the bog west i'm gonna say that like immediately before i even start going anywhere because who knows what might jump out at us so this map is very special and um, different from other maps in art because each biome you can't go to via like just walking over you do have to transport there so their own they're like their own five separate maps which is really cool well here's an inside of a tree can we get in there there's a glitch in there and speaking of glitches glitches are now like the new kind of like explorer note thing you're helping hlna like fix the the different areas so we're fixing glitches when we go and have a look so that's the new uh explorer note kind of thing and when you go into it um, or into Helena she you also earn hexagons which is like some kind of like in-game currency which is super cool so you can like um let's see can I get Helena 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 of course she's like, annoying so you can click these I'm not gonna hold it you hold E to fix a glitch and then she'll tell you like a little story about it 
Um, I'm not going to get into it because, like, sometimes they can be super long. It talks a lot. But these trees are super cool to build in, too. So if you find the glitch and then, like, look at this one. This is kind of neat because you can, like, build in a waterfall-esque tree. Like, it is so fun building on this map. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, so, oh, that wasn't smart, was it? I thought it would land in water. So that is some, like, of the cool features. Now, like I said, we're only going to do the water bog and uh, snow today, and then we'll do the other two the next time. So I'll bring you back. We are now in the bog northwest. And just to let you know, oh yeah, these little swarms of bugs are great. Um... You can get attacked in your while you're teleporting. I just got attacked by raptors while trying to teleport here. So that's great. Um, these little bugs are super annoying. Um, when they when it first came out, these would not leave you alone. Um, and it was super hard, like their hitbox was super hard to like get them killed. So um, now apparently they fixed it. That's one of the reasons why I didn't go into the bog very much. Um, was because they were just after you all the time, but you a fire works really well, like a torch, flamethrower, etc. Um, but yeah, so my goodness gracious, we're on the last one in the bog, thank goodness. And then we're gonna go somewhere a little calmer. So maybe I can let you know a little bit about this actual map in Genesis One. Because clearly no good times here. Um we're just trying to see if we can find a good place to build so let's see there's some amazing places built on this map the animals i love all the different um x creatures they come in different colors um on, especially in the different biomes which is really neat one thing about the x creatures is that wild they have 250 percent damage increase and um it, what is it uh 60% damage resistance, but when tamed, they have a 5% damage increase and 3% less compared to um, other tamed creatures. So keep that in mind, like their tamed counterpart parts of those creatures, but the colors make it all worth it, 100%. So as you can see, that's a border there. You can't just walk over to the next location. You actually have to, like I said, um, teleport there so let's see i just want to you know it's a little calm now bugs are chasing us but that's okay parasaur okay i would say closer to herbivores the better i would build on this rock probably you do have lots of resources like you can see you have some stone you have some wood um there is lots of metal around all that kind of fun stuff so it's like you kind of pick a place Maybe your first objective is getting something built ASAP so you can hide from the bugs. You can hide from other things. Um, try to stay away from too much water because you can get cap road, arcoed, buried, all that kind of fun stuff. And then all really you really have to worry about is the bugs. Um, just like that. And now they're going to be chasing me again and I'm going to run out of spam again. So just keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you guys back to the actual map screen. And uh, we'll go on to the next actual biome. Alrighty, so we're going to go on to the Arctic location now. And now this is, I'm holding quotations, medium. This one actually is not as bad in my opinion. This is where I decided to build, if I remember correctly, like just start off with. Because the bog was just way too much for me. So we're going to start over there. I'm pretty sure it's going to start us kind of in like the north. I'm not sure. But we're going to do the, like a circle around and on the, the teleportation device and see where we go. Maybe I'll have a couple minutes to actually talk with you guys about all the different things. And it's nighttime. I did not know that. Great. Alrighty. So let's have a look around. Um, It is cold here. Especially at night. So that's probably not the greatest. But like you can... If I remember correctly, during the day, survive a little bit longer. Probably not nighttime, because that's probably not the smartest thing in the world to do. But, you know, um, some of the things of the snow biome here, you have to worry about are avalanches. So if you're on a hill, you could 
get in the middle of an avalanche and we're gonna die right away because guess what it's nighttime so just be careful of the avalanches and the cold clearly maybe we can make it maybe it'll start getting warm i highly doubt it oh and i think that was like a old storm did you see that icon at the bottom that was the first location i'll bring you guys back to the next location from the teleportation device we are now in the east i'm pretty sure this is where i where she spawned me at first i don't understand so we were in the northeast we kept dying i had to wait for daytime well this wasn't smart getting in the water was it um i had to wait for daytime to get warm and then um clearly northeast i tried a couple times to get there and things were killing me southeast that was clearly all my fault but there was a yeti there too so whatever i'm gonna say that i would have died to him anyways so we had to wait for warmth by the day we kept getting killed by the rg in the north or rg in the northeast um and then the east is where i just fell and died and there's that avalanche i was talking about that you gotta watch out for so avalanches i'm stuck now and there's a day on um let's go this way so you can find some decent places to build and you can last a little bit longer like a little bit like as you can see now like my health is going down but if you click about it and get your torch up it's a pretty decent place to spawn oh look at that sheep hi sheep so the snow biome i would say you last a little bit longer in the biome just a little bit not too too much so like i would pick like a nice spot over here actually i'm pretty sure i built up on this hill last time like i started off building up on the hill and I found like a little rock that I could prop myself up on. Maybe not exactly this one, but something like this, where I built on top of up like there, and then I was, you know, safe from things. I really gotta learn not to jump like that. And then if I'm correct, where are we on the map? Yeah, you're close to the border wall. So after that, I moved myself over against the border wall and built a nice little house over here. So like oh oh did i just really do that did i really just do that <laughs> hi little piggy so i built right over here it's actually really decent to build over here just watch out for the um avalanche that comes down this way and um we're now in the south Okay, I had to make sure I you get I get so lost like trying to figure out where I was last time when you died so quickly. Like which one was it? So we're in the south now. The snow south. Now I wonder if I can quickly show you guys. So to do biome tra transportation, you would click here and then it gives you like a nice little um wheel of north, south, east, west, that kind of stuff. Um up there okay good um and then you can also get your hexagons let's see if i can i don't have any but you can buy stuff from helena if you get some glitches and stuff which is super cool so you can buy stuff from her um you can get loot crates if you save up enough or you can just get some resources like even chiropods which is like super awesome i really like that they have like this cute little store thing that you can use especially if maybe you're hard up for some resources and stuff so um, I just wanted to show you guys that quickly before, like, you know, we die again, because, you know, things happen. So, like I said here, we're going to die quickly because of this, the cold. For me, transport, the transportation also makes me cold, so it gives me a little less time to show you guys around. But building up against the, the border walls is really a good idea to me, personally. Um, just be sure not to, like, have, like, have a little bit of a wall in front of it so then you're not like right up against it but yeah that's like what i kind of suggest or building up a little bit higher so then you're away from danger 
I'll bring you guys back to the next one. Winter Southwest. Okay, so there's the theory. Um, I died right down there. Okay, great. That's wonderful. Um, how about not picking up stuff? Alright, so lots of sheep in this area. You need sheep? Get some sheep. Some other cool things about this map is that there's oh, I'm just running into bushes. There's 176 missions, and now these are kind of like little games. It's so cool. It's like if you're like bored of your normal grind of art, come to Genesis. Come do some fun little games. Oh, look at the color of that. I was gonna say bunny. It's almost Easter. Oh my gosh. I need you in my life. Please, can I have you? Those beautiful colors. Gosh. Um, but yeah, you're bored of the normal grind of art. Come over here and um, do some missions. Have some mini games. There's races. Come play with your friends. There's like little hunting missions. Like so many cool things. Fishing. I love fishing. So it's like it's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. Um, because these biomes are a little bit smaller per se, um, finding places to build that are safe uh, is a little bit easier. Um, just make sure you're kind of staying away. Like stay closer to the herbivores. Stay closer to the walls, like the border walls. Um, or even stay up into like these areas now I don't I'll have to show you if we get into an area where there's a pink little icon on the bottom that means you can't build there because it is a mission area area but if you're on single player maybe a map that lets you um I think there is a way that you're able to take it off so then you can build in those areas so keep that in mind too so we're gonna go on to the west are we on the west now or southwest? And I'll see you guys in a minute. We are on the west now. So as you can see, like it is a little bit more calmer. Like I'm not having things eat my face off the minute I start. So that is awesome. Like 100% awesome. Now, see how I said that the teleportation brings my health down a little bit because I'm cold. So that's why we're not lasting as long in the cold because I'm not like running around trying to find resources. I'm literally just trying to get um each other need to respawn me somewhere else with the moose oh, they're so beautiful you don't understand how many moose i tame just because they're so magical and beautiful and i never use them they just stand there and they're beautiful and they get their cute little shrines and i love them and they're magical um i wouldn't suggest building on like open areas as much um and be very very weary of like where you're building close to a hill because an avalanche can't come down um you do have like that must be like a snowstorm what is that you are in a snowstorm yeah so you can't jump run recover stamina slower movement and torpidity increases faster oh wow that's creepy that's why i keep running out of like stamina or i can't even run okay that makes sense makes sense but we're in a snowstorm right now you can't really tell maybe if i gamma down no Nothing. Sorry, turned the gamma up. It was nighttime before. So we're gonna go back to now the last location, which is gonna be the northwest. See you in a minute. So we're now in the northwest, still storming. Um, I swear I've seen you like 30 times today, sir. I swear. Oh look at that kangaroo! Oh my gosh, be my friend, please. You're so beautiful. So, oh, this is the ice. So, oh my god, look at the otters. Oh my gosh. Okay, stay away from the bears. Oh, look at these babies. Oh, can I have them all, please? Look at all these beautiful colors. They're just everywhere. So, this is where you can do the fishing um, mission if you're interested. I can show you guys quickly before I. Show you guys quickly. Um, so you can go in here and you can do different uh, missions. So this is the ice fishing one. You can do alpha, beta, gamma, and then there's an inventory in here. Um, and this is where you can like transfer stuff. Um, so kind of like the obelisk. Um, so yeah, so it's really neat. Uh, I really, I really enjoy this map. It is a lot of fun, and it's like a different take on art. 
because um, you still have everything that you're used to, the teaming, all that kind of stuff, but you have like all the different missions and stuff. So um, you cannot build in this area. So how remember how I said that the pink area you can't build in? So that little pink icon down there means that it's a mission area. You are not able to build within the mission area. So it's kind of more or less to keep, um, you know, from blocking certain parts of the game. So keep that in mind, but I'm pretty sure you can turn that off if you have your own server or if you're on single player. I'm pretty sure I remember taking that off. So you can do that if you find that, like, you know, maybe there's not a lot of people and you guys can, can work around it, that kind of thing. So this was the Northwest. This is the last spawn location in the snow biome. I'm going to bring you guys back to the map and we're going to go on to the next actual biome. So I'm skipping over Lunar very hard. Because I think we should be going to Ocean Hard next. And then the next episode I'll do learn learn, learn bleh, the next episode I'll do lunar and volcan volcanic. Um so we're gonna go over to the ocean. Um I'm pretty sure this starts you kind of in the north. See how like you can see on the map that it's kind of split up. The maps are kind of split up. The biomes, sorry, are kind of split up. We're gonna have a look here and see what the water has in store for us. Look at that. Tropical, beautiful, very hard, my butt. No, what's super hard about this is you can't tell right now, but we're on kind of like a cliff. And when you jump down on that cliff, there's like no way of getting back up. Now, there are a ton of Ligornis on here. There's Pagomastics. The cool little thing I learned is that the Different animals act differently in different biomes. So like Pegomastix, for an example, um, he will be tame over here. So he won't really like bother you. But in the bi other biome, he'll kind of bother you. So um, this is such a beautiful place. And I can actually talk a little bit because we won't die per se. But we're going to, why don't we go for a little swim? I just want to see, can we jump on a cliff? Probably. Oh, no. So this is what we're looking for so you have some different environmental features like this oh this thing that's gonna suck us in it's like a water tornado which i think is super neat but you get your oxygen doesn't drain as fast um in the water so that's super neat um and are we ever gonna get out of this i don't think so i'm used to being in this in a tame so i can get out kind of easily I might be stuck here for the rest of my life. There we go. There we go. We're out of it. Um, and then what are some other environmental? The water is way more clear compared to like the island and stuff. Like so much more clear. Where did this bring me? Look at all the turtles and dolphins. Um, there's the big turtle that you can build on the back of, which is super cool. I can't pronounce his name, so please don't ask me to pronounce it. Um, and then some things in the different biomes that we were in today are the, um, it was in the bog, it was really foggy and swampy and you have the swarms of bugs and I find in the snow that you can last a little bit longer, like compared to a couple other maps, maybe not all of them. So that's really cool. And then we have some new creatures. So you have the fair fox. I'm only talking about the biomes that I've been in today, not the other one. So if I miss something, don't worry, it's going to be on the next video. Um, well, hopefully, if I did miss something in those two videos, let me know in the comments below. But, uh, yeah, the Bloodstalker, the Fair Fox, uh, the Insect Swarm, the Megachelion, I think that's the big turtle. Um, and then Mortar, Master of the Ocean, and his minions, which is like, um, boss in the, in the water. Oh, there's the new, new dino. And these cool little bubbles, you can go in, or new dino, new turtle. So you can build off of him. He gives you oxygen, I'm pretty sure, but you can go in here, Boop. and they give you oxygen too, and then it brings you to the surface. It's so cool. Boop. Um, I love all the cool little things they've put in here. Like, it is so cool. I really enjoy it. Um, there's not much to be scared of. The only thing, like I said, that I think the reason why they say it's hard to survive here is because getting back onto land from the um from the cliffs is pretty difficult and then being able to get 
like supplies and stuff like look at this like i don't think i'll be able to climb up to anything so what i'm gonna do now that i've had a chance to talk and all that kind of fun stuff i'll let you guys know about a little cool things about genesis um i'm gonna bring you to the next quote unquote teleportation location as opposed to spawn location and we'll see you in a minute so we're now on the northeast of the ocean biome oh look we like to stop right on a glitch so like i highly suggest if you are starting off on here do not jump off unless you have some resources because you can build ocean platforms and build um kind of off the cliff if you needed some cliff kind of stuff but once you're down it's going to be really hard to get back up and getting resources is going to be super hard so it doesn't really look like you have stone here now one of the other cool things about this water biome hopefully we can find one um of course the lower you get in the water um the more dangerous it gets so just keep that in mind but there are underwater uh, like i don't even know how to explain it like they're like little places you can live like, like what what are you guys doing huh it's your eyes are so big and beady um how do i explain it like it's like let me show what here go really fast swimming you have rip it roll it and punch it really not sure what that is hi guys you guys just gonna push me around now so it's like these little like containers i want to say that you can actually live in and i'm not sure if they fixed it but i knew some people were having some problems can you get oxygen from these guys yes you can but you can like hang out on these guys and get oxygen as well you guys kind of stuck like so my oxygen's going up I'm not sure if they 100% fixed it, but apparently people were having issues where they were building in these little um, containers underwater, and then they were getting, um, when they spawned in because maybe the, the walls didn't work properly or something, where like all their animals were dying because they were drowning. So I'm not sure, research that before you go and decide to go and build down there. I would never put my animals at risk like that, but maybe they did fix it so it's pretty awesome so that's something to check out when you're doing this now like i said you can't really build here unless you have resources so i am going to bring you guys back to the next location and then we'll just see what else we can find if i can find you at least one of those things or maybe we can find some cool little things to you know look at new things to look at so i'll bring you guys right back we're now in the east it looks like we're a little bit lower like closer to the oh don't fall off closer to the ground now which is actually pretty cool because then we can there's some rocks so like this is the water east is that rocks or was that just and it looked like rocks i think your issue is going to be finding rocks in here and then getting back up 100 percent. that's going to be like a total total issue so where are we on the map all right so yeah i don't recommend like building off over here that right off to to start because of the fact that like you don't have a lot of resources and you do definitely need that but it's really calming especially from the start that we just had super calming it's really nice I highly suggest going and checking this biome out when you're maybe a little more of a higher level. Um, I'm not sure if you guys want me to show you all the rest of the spawn locations, but I'll try to do it very quickly. So then, you know, um, we're not just swimming around everything. So like, at least to get a look at it and see some of these cool things. Look at these extra creatures. Bye. So it's now nighttime and we're in the south location. One thing you guys really have to see is how the, how the animals grow grow below at night is this okay i thought it, it kept sounding like um a micro raptor and i'm like are they like kind of docile too over here you know it's one of our we pronounce it our no i'm not even gonna try bird bird they climb the trees we'll see them from time to time 
Hey, let's go in the water. See if we can see. Yeah, just a double bounce. Look at how glow everything is. Okay, not everything, but like the animals are. They're all like glowing and stuff. I think it's super cool. Oh, apparently I'm dying because of that jump. Great. But um, yeah, so this is like super neat to look at. Um, you can get stuff, I'm pretty sure, from these oysters here. Um, and yeah, it's, it's super awesome. I really want to see if I can find one of those little thingamajiggers, the containers that you can go into. So I might search for that one next location and then bring you guys back. Because it's all pretty much the same. So I'll bring you guys right back. So right away in the west, I found one of these little uh, containers I was talking about. So we're right here on the map. 30, a little after 40. And what happens is you go in here and boom, look at that. It's like a little place you can survive and you're like underwater, but able to walk around. It's super cool. Like it's beautiful in here and you do have resources. You have some like rocks you have. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can pick from these trees. I'm not sure. Nope, may not. This one. Yeah, so you can get like some berries. You can get other things. Water's right outside the door, so you don't have to worry about finding water. Um, trees probably, gosh, a little bit harder to find, and you'd be taking down some of your decoration. Just keep that in mind. But um, yeah, this is like, they're super cool, and you can find these all over the water. Be very careful, though, because usually you find them like deeper down. You find like two sows and stuff. So. I've made an executive de decision that um, this is going to be the last spawn location on the uh, water biome because it's pretty much all the same. So this is the west, so keep that in mind. Again, you go a little further down into the water, and um, I usually find them closer to like the wall, the border wall. Um, as you can tell, this is where it's kind of ending. So I'm going to end the video here today, and I had a super awesome time. It's such a blast going on to this Genesis map. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to all my current subscribers, because you guys are awesome, and all the support is super amazing, and you guys are super awesome. And if you're new here, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And if you did like what I provided for you today, feel free to hit that like button. Let me know down in the comments below what's your favorite biome to start off in on Genesis, and how excited are you for Genesis 2? So, super excited to see you guys in the next episode, and yeah, we'll see you again next time. Have a great day. Bye for now.